in this video, the object built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. The object built-in function uh, is pretty special. It's considered a base for all classes. It has all the methods that are common to all instances of Python classes. Also important to note, you cannot assign attributes to an instance of the object class. So I found the Stack Overflow article that really explains what object is used for in this function context. And the answer states that there's a couple uses. One, you know, it's the base class for all objects. So that's kind of internal. That's not something you're really going to use, but it's used to create sentinel values. And this is uh, used with the iter function usually. And I don't think that's what object was created for, but it's a design pattern that I'll get into at the end. First, let's open the shell and just run through a couple little things. So we can instantiate an object like this. And here we have our object to object. Pretty cool. And we can check the type and see that it's an object. And we can check the dir and see what attributes are available to us. As it said in the docs, there's no dict method. And for that reason, we can't do anything like o.name equals hey. We're going to get an attribute error. Another important thing to note is say we created two objects, right? So we have A um, and then we have B, and we'll just create two empty objects. Now, for other classes, if you do A equals B, you'll usually get true, but for this one, you're going to get false. So A is B is going to be false as well. Just know that every object that's being created is 100% unique. All right, lastly, we have our Sentinel object pattern. And here's a pretty good article explaining uh, how to go about this design pattern. And I'll link it up in the notes. But I have an example here of how we might use that. So you see at the top, um, we've instantiated our object called Sentinel. And then we're using it in our iter and then we're returning it uh, if we hit certain a certain situation we're looking for so we can run this if i enter something like hey it keeps going until we do stop and if we do it'll stop and that's the pattern that's how sentinels used i would note that if we didn't have sentinel here and we did return um, again we do hey until we do stop and it says what well, you entered is none and it'll actually force us to keep going so yeah one other thing worth noting is you don't want to instantiate it in here uh, you want to have it already instantiated uh, we're calling the variable sent sentinel but you can call it whenever you want of course and we enter stop and it stops and that is the sentinel pattern thanks for watching